What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed. Holy cow guys, look at this beauty. So in our last Need for Speed video, we literally spent 50 minutes... What the heck happened to this? What happened to it? Do you guys see how it changed? We spent 50 minutes perfecting this thing in the last episode, and now it's completely messed up. Why are there things... <laughs> what? That's not what the car is actually like. That's not what it just looked like when I just left the garage. What are you talking about? You see that, like, big... Weird. Anyway, welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed. We, uh, like I said, we spent, like, 50 minutes perfecting this car that's, I guess, not perfect anymore. I don't know how that happened. Uh, I guess it's a little glitch in the game. But uh, we wanted to make it to look like... Uh, Paul's car from Too Fast, Too Furious, one of the most iconic uh, cars of all time, his uh, Skyline R34 that he bought and souped up and jumped over the Supra and stuff like that, so it's it's pretty cool. And uh, now we're going to be taking it on to take on the Outlaw missions and uh, hopefully escape the cops in a way that would uh, that would make Buster proud. So uh, shout out to you, Paul, up in the sky. Anyway, let's, um, let's go ahead and move on and, and, and check out what we've got going on. So we're going to go to our messages. The boys want to see your anti social side stack a $5,000 fine and then escape. All right, I think we can do that. So you guys know I told you guys in a previous episode that uh, you can fast travel right down here to be able to find some cops. Oops. I actually pulled up his, uh, accidentally pulled up his, his profile. This game is, oh, it's it's making me mad right now. I'm upset that we spent that much time perfecting this car and now it's messed up. I literally, like, that video, like, we, we ended the 50-minute video and then I started this one up. I left the garage and it was like this. Like, that's, I didn't, I didn't touch anything on it. Not a single thing. So, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know. I don't know how that happened. It's still messed up. All right, whatever. Anyway, does that say Broccoli Obama? All right, we're gonna go this way, boys. We're going to go find a cop. We're going to get a $5,000 fine racked up. Ooh, he's not here. It's a normal spawning point for a cop, right? We're in the right spot, right? Oh, no, it's over here. We turned one too early. We're going to go this way. Should... Uh... No, he's over to the left. How have I lost this already? Is he normally in here? No. I honestly don't even know, dudes. We'll find one. He was it's in this this area right here that he always spawns. That's where we found him last time. So we're gonna have to drive around until we find a copperoonie. If I was a pig, where would I roll in the mud? There he is, let's go. What's up, Mr. Copper? Hey, man, I need to get a $5,000 fine if you're cool with that. So I'm gonna just start smashing stuff and running into cars, because that's the best way I know how. I think if you even hit cars like this. Actually, I think hitting the cops themselves is the best way to rack them fine. And taking out light bulbs, of course. So we're already up to 1,200. Oh, got him! Let's go! Brian was an undercover cop. At one point in the series, doing dirty work, ended up siding with the, the homies. Not the crooked cops, of course. So we're just gonna keep rolling through. Yeah, that spot we were looking at, that's the spot where you can always get him. It's just he was out driving around, I guess. He probably was just getting done chasing somebody else, or I don't know what, but... You can't catch me! I'm here, turn around, I'm ramming him. Yes! Slammed him! Boom! Get out of my way, ho! Alright, we got 1,100 left we have to get. Get out of my way! Right, we're up to 3,300. Does hitting normal cars help? Nope. Let's 
700 that gives what about actual cars with pedestrians in them oh yeah that helps all right so if it's cars parked on the side of the road they're fair game if it's pedestrian cars you're cool <laughs> he's all sorts of turned around see ya Forty-two thirty-five. Literally doing donuts around him. Forty-seven thirty-five. Come on, boys, you need to get up to five k. This electrical box that'll help, right? Nine thousand or nine hundred. I mean. There it is. We're over 5,000. His power level, it's over 5,000. Now it's time to get out of here, boys. Busting a roadblock. Try to get used to this car, man. We're going to have to use it in some races here soon. Which should be fun. Another roadblock. Uh oh. Those slow me down, but they don't slow the cops down. Which I find kind of interesting. Another roadblock. Dude, where were all these roadblocks when we had that challenge? There's $7,000 fine. No way he catches us in the Paul Mobile. Another one? Are you serious? Another one. Shout out to DJ Khaled. See how he just like goes right through? It doesn't affect him at all. Left on him. Not gonna expect it. Oh shoot. Getting out on the highway. That's where we want to be. We're gonna be able to pick up the speeds and they aren't gonna catch up. Get away from these stupid roadblocks. Drifting to safety, baby. I don't even know where they're at anymore. Let's go, boys. Alright. Well. Five seconds left and we're off scot-free. That was easy. We're gonna be on to the next outlaw mission. Good stuff, boys. So this thing can perform. Let's see how fast she can get going. Oh, I think the top speed is around like 230, right? 232 or something? With nitrous, obviously, that's gonna be a little bit faster. Oh, we were up to 240. It's not the fastest car in the game by any means, but it's a uh, it's a beaut, dude. This is just it's an iconic car. You can't you can't beat the Skyline GTR 34. It's like one fluent word: GTR 34, GTR R34, GTR. <laughs> All right, good stuff, boys. We just leveled up to level 48. A. Still pushing it. I'm waiting to see Outlaw Texas. Oh gosh. I'm gonna get off the freeway and see what's up down here. Come on, Outlaw. There it is. Come out and play, he says. Come out and play with the gang. Gonna throw some loops around the precinct. You're running with the pack now, Chico. All right, here we go, boys. We're back in the group. So this is like. I've got a feeling this is kind of like somebody low in the group. This isn't the, the main big, like, boss guy. This is somebody low in the group, and we're kind of gaining his trust and, and getting his kind of, like, approval, and then we're going to be able to move up in the ranks of these outlaws. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Here we go, boys. So this is a circuit race. You said we were going to throw some laps around it? Yeah. Actually, this might be the main boss, because that's his Lambo. That's the Lambo I was telling you guys about in previous episodes. Really? That cop totally didn't cut me off. Here we go, boys. We're very lucky we slid off that car like that. Oh, that was almost an insanely close trip. That would have been sick, dude. All right, there's no way we're losing a race to an old Lamborghini. Good. 
We Gucci. Yes, sir. This thing is just so beautiful. Like, I was happy to have uh, Eddie's car. His R34, but this one's ten times better than Eddie's, dude. Like, it's not even a competition. This is just, like, this is pure... Just childhood, honestly. Nice job, Trev. We're killing it right now. Lost the cop a couple times. That same cop's always in that spot. He can't really get us. Keep it up, baby. Woo! That light going across the screen is awfully bright sometimes. Why do I keep getting it? What are you doing? Well, if that was it, it was just two laps. We're good now. Bada bing, bada boom. There it is. Two minutes, 2.73 seconds. Got first place. First race with this car. Now we just gotta ditch this cop right here. Uh oh, boys are impressed. Let's ditch this cop. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Back into the cooldown. Go, 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 go. Oh no, they're back on us. We'll be back in the cooldown now. Outlaw's calling me. Sounds great. It was. I mean, I haven't felt that good about my ride in a long time. I mean, we should all buy some lottery tickets with all the luck we've been at. Oh man. Now, why do you have to go and jinx us? <laughs> too much positive energy for jinxing Ames. Never too much. Hey, let's meet up at the Longhorn. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, cool. See you there. Not you, wise guy. We're not going to Longhorns. You and I are meeting up at the diner. Get over there. Now. I'm going to the diner? Not with all my friends? Well, we just blew our tires out. Hopefully there are no cops coming. Dude, this has actually been kind of a tough one to get away from. We kept running into more cops. Like, we were just about to lose them. And then we would run into another set. Alright, let's see... Where are we going? Meet Travis at the diner. Wow, all right. So everybody else is meeting somewhere else at the Longhorn to drink beer and shoot pool. And Travis wants us to go to the diner to meet just him. This is interesting. This isn't typically what we do. We usually don't split up the group. We usually stick together. <laughs> Look at those hot rooms, baby. They're on fire. There he is. That was him. Man, you don't back down, do you? Yeah, that was me out there. Surprised? Me neither. Once you're on this rush, you can spot a fellow tripper. It's all in the eyes, Chico. Impressive as you were out there, that kind of driving's gonna get you in a lot of trouble one day. A lot of people in this game, they feed off that. I want to crown you the king, but it's more than a skill, though. Everybody loves an outlaw, someone fighting against the system. So you got to ask yourself, are you the kind of driver who's in it for the rush? Or are you just someone who needs the attention? So Travis is outlaw, and we just saw the head bad... Like boss guy. I hoped you'd make the grade. And I know you're tempted. Huh. Keep your phone handy. Alright. 